is a drug holiday when it comes to osteoporosis medication? It's very important for people to understand that most drugs don't give drug holidays, okay? When you have hypertension or you're on a medication like a statin, you don't get drug holidays. In bone health, this is quite unique. For certain patients, the only class of drug that can have a drug holiday is the class called bisphosphonates. For instance, the oral or the IV reclast or the oral Fosamax, Actinil, or Boniva type drugs. The reason for the idea of a drug holiday came because many people early on after these drugs were approved stayed on these drugs for a very long time. And there were started to have reported risks associated with them that are very rare. But after many, many years of use, there were some people that were found to have something called a atypical fracture of their femur, AFF. And that exists even independent of these drugs. But being on some of these drugs was felt to, in certain patient populations, people started after 10 years of use reporting this as occurring. What a drug holiday does is it allows for bone to turn over because we heal little micro fractures every day in our life with, by turning over bones. So we don't want to over suppress bone turnover by staying on these drugs for too long. Um, and that is why we allow one or two years off. We follow the patient's bone density, we follow their history, and then most will go back on if they really have osteoporosis. And very um, certain circumstances though, when somebody is very high risk for fracture, we keep them on because we use a risk benefit equation and counseling as to why they should stay on long-term. But that is the only class of drug, whether it be the IV therapy or the oral therapies of the bisphosphonates that we allow people to have a little time off, reevaluate, and then many do need to go back on something. The other condition that can occur um, is something called osteonecrosis of the jaw, and people are very worried about that as well, um, but they are misinformed about that as well. It's a very rare, rare side effect of use, um, and it is something where only when people are having extractions or implants where the area around it has difficulty healing. But most very good oral surgeons and really good um, periodontists know how to deal with that. And again, uh, most people who are having issues with that were people who are on very high doses of medication for cancer, chemotherapy, diabetes. They were on steroids. They had other factors that led them to have an increased risk for something called ONJ. But mostly the only class of drug that can have a drug holiday is this bisphosphonate group of drugs because there is some fracture protection that one may have when they go off a drug for one or two years. But most often, if you really have osteoporosis, you need to go back on some kind of medication. 